Whoosh. Guys, wow, that's it, that's it. I've had these lights since like I started my channel, like 2013. This officially just took a shit. I don't know how this broke. That's broken, right? <laughs> I can't possibly put that back up there. Damn it. Do they still make these? How am I gonna film this mukbang? I've already ordered my food. Yes, it's a Coke Zero. I ordered Wendy's. I know, it's so bad, it's so bad, it's fast food. You should not eat fast food. Don't tell my personal trainer. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't, I don't have a personal trainer. I can't even touch my toes without crying. You think I have a personal trainer? What am I gonna do with this? Ugh. Guys, it's literally 9 p.m. I don't have natural sunlight. I am so sorry for this dungeon lighting. I, I, let's just pretend we're telling spooky stories. I've been craving a cold, icy Coke Zero all day. Okay, guys. Let's talk about Paris. I've gotten so many requests to do a mukbang talking about Paris, doing a Paris haul, how it even happened, how did I get there, what the hell, let's talk about it. Before I do though, I wanna say, we recently launched our triple threat collection, which are old KL comebacks. I'm currently wearing gumption, this is my favorite one from the collection, it is so beautiful. I know you can't see it in this romantic lighting we have, but it's like a deep, deep, deep royal ocean blue. Reminds me of Dorian Havillard and I love it so much. So definitely go check out our newest collection Collection. And yeah, let's talk about Paris. So first of all, I just want to say manifesting is real. It's real, man. A lot of you guys know that going to Paris has been my dream since I was a little girl. Like literally since I was a little girl. I've talked about wanting to go to Paris since the start of my channel. I literally used to have a little Eiffel Tower keychain on my keys that one of my subscribers gave me that they got when they went to Paris. Every single time somebody has gone to Paris, they have brought me a souvenir. I have so many Paris souvenirs and I had never even been there. It's crazy. Phantom, you remember Phantom? Raccoon Boy? Even he got me a, a Paris souvenir when he went once. So anyway, one day I'm talking to Sassy and I'm like, oh my gosh, we have to go to Paris. And I'm saying it in like a funny casual haha that's never gonna happen way. And then I shit you not, a week later I get an email from Gillette Venus saying that they were going to the Olympics and they were inviting me to go watch the Olympics in Paris. And I was gonna do like a sponsorship with them on their new like gold razor. And when I tell you that I, for real, I'm not kidding, I lost my mind. I'm not kidding, I lost my mind. I lost my mind because number one, I love Venus. I genuinely have been shaving my legs with Venus forever. So I was like, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. This is something I actually love and use and they're inviting me to go to Paris? This can't be real, this can't be real. I thought it was fake, I thought it was a fake email. And Ceci was like, no girl, this is real. This is real. And Ceci helps me a lot with my sponsorships. She's a publicist and helps me with a lot of my deals. And she was like, no, 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 like you're going to this. Because at first I was like, wow, this is a, an amazing opportunity. That's so nice that they thought of me. Sucks I can't go. And she's like, what? You're going. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm obviously not going. Because number one, I'm not getting on an airplane by myself. There is no way in hell. I have been taking Ubers alone these days, which is huge for me. But there is no way I'm getting on an airplane by myself. There's just no way. Which I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't think I can, I will ever be able to get on an airplane by myself. Like truly, I don't think that's ever going to happen. I don't think I'm going to have that much growth in my life. But when Ceci offered to come with me, I was like... I don't know, I don't know. And I started to think about it. I was like, wait, maybe this is a possibility. I don't know. Because then at that point, I was still telling her no. And she's like, what's your excuse? I'm going with you. And I was like, I just, I don't know if I could do nine hours on a plane. The, the most I've done is six hours. When I recently went to Napa, it was a six hour flight. And I've been to LA a bunch of times. I'm almost like used to the five hour flight. But nine hours, oh my gosh. It was longer to get to Hawaii not by much. But at least I was getting off the plane. Like we went to LA and then we went to Hawaii. So I like, I got off, I got to touch the ground and breathe a little bit in between. This was a nine hour flight direct. I didn't think I could do it. I promise you guys, it's only because, first of all, Ceci's a Cancer with a Capricorn moon and she is very convincing. Libra rising. She gave me the speech of a lifetime. It made me cry. The only reason I went is because it was my absolute dream. I was like, Kathleen, you need to do this. You need to do this. The pep talk I was giving myself on a daily basis, guys, you have no idea. I sobbed hysterically almost every single day. The day that I went to leave on my flight, I tried to film a what's in my bag video and I couldn't film it. I couldn't film a what's in my travel bag because I kept crying so much and not because I was happy, but because I was so scared. I was terrified to get on that flight. Not to mention, I come from a father who's just as crazy as I am. And when I told him the news, <laughs> listen to this, I sit down and I'm like, dad, uh, I gotta tell you something. <laughs> I'm like, I have to go on a work trip. And he's like, okay. Like, you know, he's known I've gone to LA a bunch of times. He's like, okay, where? I'm like, <laughs> Paris. His eyes opened up so big, he's like, what? He's like, no, 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 no. 
No, that's too far. No, that's too far. He had a mental breakdown and then I had another mental breakdown. And I was like, I wonder why I am the way that I am. He was just so shocked because like nobody believed I would actually go to Paris. <laughs> I'm still, I still can't believe. I'm still, what? You guys don't understand how much of a chicken I am, how much I don't like to leave my house. Guys, I went on the subway. Oh my God, okay, so let's talk about it. So after I mustered up the courage to go, it was so funny every single day that I would cry and tell Ceci, I don't know if I could do this. I don't know if I could do this. She's like, well, you signed a contract, so we're going. <laughs> but the second I got there, the second we landed, guys, I felt like I was home. I can't explain it. The nostalgia in Paris is so much. If you were like a Disney kid, there's so many movies set in Paris. The Aristocats, Ratatouille, Madeline. I don't think that's Disney, but I used to love Madeline so much. Oh my God, guys, have you, this is not Disney, but have you seen the movie Charade with Audrey Hepburn? It's my favorite Audrey Hepburn movie, and it's in Paris, and it is beautiful. Casablanca will always have Paris. Oh my god. I am currently binge watching Emily in Paris. I'm still mentally in Paris. <laughs> they have the best butter in the world, guys. Like, the butter there is bright yellow, creamy. Oh my god. You know how much I love Perrier. I mean, I don't know if you guys know that, but I love Perrier. It's my, I, I drink it every day. I have boxes in my fridge. There's Perrier everywhere there. The macarons taste like magic. The pavlovas. I had a pavlova that brought me to tears. Like actual tears, I'm not kidding. There's just magic in the city. There's magic in that city. And it's crazy because a lot of people told me, a lot of people in my personal life told me that I wasn't gonna like it because I'm a New York hater. I don't wanna upset any New Yorkers because people write hard for New York, but I am just not a big fan of the hustle and bustle. People there are so go, go, go and fast, fast, fast and it, it it gives me too much anxiety. Every time I go to New York, all I hear is meow, meow, meow. It's like, it's too much. Even the sirens in Paris, Paris is a city, even the sirens sound romantic. They're like, da, 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 da. Not like, meow, meow. It's so annoying. Their water bottles, guys, the water bottles in Paris, if you buy a water bottle anywhere, at any pharmacy, little store, anywhere, the caps, are connected. I don't have a water bottle. <laughs> I never buy plastic water bottles, but they're water bottles. The cap is literally, it stays on. Like it stays on. Why don't we do that? Why do not we do that? You know how many caps I lose when I take it off? It literally stays connected. It just hangs there. That is amazing. Oh, right, the subway thing. Okay. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> the Coke Zero is starting to hit me. Ceci is a New Yorker. So this bitch rides the subway every single day and she's used to that stuff. I am terrified of public transportation of any kind, even cars. I hate getting in cars. I hate public transportation. It's one of my biggest fears, even elevators, bro. Like I can't. So when we get there, she's like, okay, we're gonna ride the subway. I'm like, one baby step at a time, okay? But she was like, so convincing. She was like, listen, it's the Olympics right now. There's a bunch of cops everywhere, which there were. There were cops on every corner. <laughs> they were like checking people, making sure, because there were so many people in the city, which I'm not gonna lie, it was another big reason I didn't want to go. I was so scared. It was gonna be so crowded and I hate crowds. People scare me. But she was like, dude, we'll be safe down there. It's fine. Just try, just try. She's like, listen, we'll test it out. We'll go down there. And if you start to get panicky, we'll leave. I'm like, okay, fine. We go down there. I'm fine. I was like, I can do this. I can do this. I mean, I was sweating, major swap ass, but I was like, I can do this with the help of Buspirin, of course. My anti-anxiety medication. <laughs> Which, by the way, for real, I wouldn't be able to do this without Buspirin. Like, serious moment for a second. It has helped me so, so much. I had tried so many different medications, like SSRIs and other types of anti-anxiety medications, but for me, Buspirin has been such amazing help. I take 10 milligrams in the morning and then another 10 milligrams at night. And yes, it is kind of annoying to have to take it in the morning and at night, but since it's helped my mental health so much, I don't care. I'll take it six times a day if I have to. <laughs> so yeah. Thank God for that. I rode the subway and I survived. Guys, I got on a nine hour plane. I survived and then I rode a subway and I survived. That is crazy. I truly can't believe it. Honestly, if it wasn't because Ceci had to come back to a graduation for her goddaughter, we would have extended our trip. I wanted to stay there until the Olympics were over, guys. I am a fan of Leon, what's his last name? The friends boy? Wow. I cried. <laughs> I went to two swimming events and the first swimming event I was there and that's when that Leon guy like beat everybody else by like a million. When I first started cheering, you know, I was cheering for Team USA, right? So I'm like, yeah, Team USA, Team USA. And then when I saw Leon just like take off and the energy in the stadium, because obviously we were in France, so it was the majority of France fans. They were screaming. Every time he came up out of the water, they were like, Leon, Leon, Leon. So I started screaming Leon. I'm like, Leon, Leon, I'm like, France. France. And I started clapping and I like started crying when he won. 
I started crying. I was like, yes, France! The freaking France national anthem. I'm crying. It was beautiful. It was amazing. Team France. I am such a fan of that guy. I don't. I didn't know who he was before that day, but I love him. Oh my god, and then also Katie Ledecky for Team USA. She did amazing. She also killed it. She won by like a mile. It was just such an incredible experience, and I swear that I, I just feel so grateful because growing up, we always watched the Olympics, and our favorites were gymnastics and swimming. Like, that was those were the main ones we watched. So the fact that I was able to go to two swimming events, I feel so, so grateful, and I just, I can't believe it. I can't believe they asked me. I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, but there are other younger, cooler influencers out there. Why do you want to take me? A razor. A razor made my dreams come true. I've had so much coffee today. I am so sorry for my energy in this video. The first thing I had to do, though, when I got to Paris was go straight to Jovoy Paris, which is one of the most famous perfume stores in the world, okay? Right there in Paris. I was like, well, that's the first place we're going. I didn't pack a perfume because I wanted to buy a perfume in Paris, which I don't know if you guys know this, but every time I visit a new place, I buy a perfume for the first time and I take it like on vacation so that every time I smell that perfume again in the future, it reminds me of that place. So I was like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna buy a French perfume. It has to be French. I'm gonna douse myself in it the entire trip. Then I'm gonna bring it home. I'm not gonna look at it, I'm not gonna touch it for six months. <laughs> six months! And then, six months from now, I'm gonna smell it and I'm gonna be taken right back to Paris. I just know it. I need to give myself that break though before I smell it again. It was so funny, guys. Okay, so we went into the Jovoy Paris store and I ended up buying this perfume called Lovers in Pink. So delicious, it's like a floral, fresh, really good. Lasts all day, love it so much. Ceci loved it so much that she bought herself this perfume, which was amazing because we were getting the same scent like when we were spraying each other, not each other, we were spraying ourselves in the hotel room. I was smelling her perfume, obviously, she would smell mine and it was the same scent, so I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah, Paris is in the air. And dude, <laughs> we had like um, a view of the Eiffel Tower, like the tip of the Eiffel Tower, we could see it from our window. And I was standing at the window with the doors open and I was holding the perfume and I was looking at the Eiffel Tower and I was just sniffing the perfume. I was like <sighs> And Sassy's like, what on earth are you doing? I'm like, I am creating a scent memory, okay? I'm like, grab your perfume and come join me. And <laughs> she stood next to me <laughs> and we were just looking at the Eiffel Tower, sniffing the perfume and looking at it. I'm like, this is how we this is how we remember. <laughs> Paris when we smell this again in the future. The, the idiot went along with it. She's not an idiot, I love her. I'm an idiot, but that's the perfume I bought for the daytime. Because I also bought Late the Biscuit, this perfume right here, for like my bedtime scent. This is an Eau de Toilette, so it's very light, doesn't really last. It's the perfect like bedtime scent, it's French. It smells so yummy like vanilla cookie biscuits, and I can't wait to smell that in six months. <laughs> also guys, I was so bummed out that I couldn't get to point zero. Point zero is right in front of the Notre Dame. I'm not saying that correctly, I'm sorry. But since that fire a couple years ago, they have the, the front blocked off and that's where point zero is. And that is the first thing I wanted to do when I got there. I'm like, listen, if, if we do anything this trip, it's I need to go to point zero. I need to go there because of Anna and the French Kiss. That was my favorite book in high school. Etienne St. Clair was my very first book boyfriend, okay? The High Lord of the Night Court obviously took his place now that I'm an adult. But when I was younger, St. Clair, he was everything. And you know damn well that I took my Anna and the French Kiss book with me to Paris. I was like, I need to take the, my boyfriend with me because like, he needs to experience this with me. I'm going to Paris. And I was reading the book throughout my trip and guys, it's so funny because I read that book in high school and I swear it was my favorite book in the whole world, but I don't recommend it to anybody over the age of 20. <laughs> It is definitely a YA like high school story. It's so cute, but it is like very young. But if you are from the ages of like 14 to 21, it's a great book. Anyway, super bummed I didn't go to point zero, but that just means I have to go back to Paris. That's the sign I took from it. Oh my God, I went to Shakespeare and Company. That was another, look at this, look. That was another place I really needed to go to. Look at the tote I got. So I, I didn't go to point zero, but look, my tote says, Kilometer zero Paris. How cute is this tote? I'm obsessed with it. They have a bunch of really cute totes at this bookstore and this bookstore is super famous Hemingway used to go there. It's been around since 1951. It was so beautiful. The history in Paris is just so amazing We don't have that here. There is nothing I was trying to have this conversation with my friend Stephanie the other day because I was like man There's nothing romantic <laughs> 
in the United States the way that it is in Europe. I mean, I've only been to one place in Europe, Paris, but the buildings, the architecture, the vibe, just everything is so romantic. And we don't have that here in the States. And she's like, there are romantic places here. I'm like, name them. She's like, Maine. <laughs> I'm like, okay, no, like, there are beautiful places here. The Grand Canyon literally took my breath away the first time I saw it, but it's not romantic. You know what I mean? Like, there's just a romance to Europe. I'm sorry. It's different. I'm sorry. It's different. And my soul just belongs in romance. You know? I truly had the time of my life. It's a it's a trip I'm gonna be thinking about for the rest of my life. I feel I could cry talking about it. Every time I think of, like, I mean, it, I was in the car on the way to the Olympics and I was just like crying <laughs> in the car and Ceci's like, are you crying? I'm like, she's like, why are you crying? I'm like, because I'm in Paris. <laughs> you know how long I wanted to go there? Like, I never thought that that could be possible because I'm just such a chicken shit. I would have never gone on a plane had Ceci not forced me. So shout out to Ceci for being the real MVP in this story because I wouldn't have gotten there without her. And super double shout out to Venus because I'm just like an old washed up YouTuber. So thank you for inviting me. Like I will never forget it. Also, everybody was super nice. They say like French people hate Americans. <laughs> I'm sure they do, but everybody was really nice to me. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I really played up the Cuban there. I was like, no, no, yo, Americana, no, yo, no, soy Americana, yo, soy Cubana, mija. Americana, soy Cubana. It was funny, we asked this guy for directions. He was so cool, like, he looked like a, like a French painter. Like, <laughs> like, very artistic. He was wearing this, like, button-down shirt. He had long hair. He was, like, smoking his cigarette outside of this store. And I asked him, I was asking him where point zero was, right? And he was so helpful, but, like, annoyed. <laughs> At the same time, he's like, you make a left, then you go this way, then you go right, whatever. Like, he was giving me directions with an attitude. I'm like, I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about this, but I really liked him. <laughs> I would be like, oh, to the left, to the left. He's like, no. I'm like, oh. Like, it was hard to communicate a little bit. <laughs> Anyway, I feel like this video was all over the place and didn't really make any sense. But just to give you a quick wrap up, I went to go see the Mona Lisa, although I didn't stand directly in front of it because there was a crowd of 5 million people there and I was like, hell no, I'm not gonna get stampeded under there. I was terrified of that. So, Ceci, Ceci got all up in there, all the way, all the way in the front. I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna meet you over here by this giant painting across the hall. But I did see her from a distance. So that was awesome. Going to Versailles was amazing. The gardens there were so beautiful. It was truly just stunning. The macarons from Lottery are next level. Best raspberry. I had a mango one that was insane. It was so strange though. The whole time that I was walking through that palace, I'm like, Ceci, <laughs> where did they get the money for all of this? I'm like, how do they have giant doors made out of gold? Like, where did this come from? I was so shocked. I never seen such extravagance in my life. I was like, it was insane, it was insane. But yeah guys, I just wanna say thank you for all the love you guys have sent my way, all the comments, all the DMs. You guys have been so nice to me about everything and I just love you guys so much. Like, from the bottom of my heart, your comments have made me cry, warm my heart, like, Thank you so much. You guys are truly the best. And I couldn't have I couldn't have gone to Paris without you guys either. Like Gillette would have never asked me to go if it wasn't for you guys, that's for sure. So thank you guys so much. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I need to buy a lamp. That lamp. Gosh, I hope they still make it. I'm a boomer. I don't even know which one to buy. Alright guys, I love you so much. I'm done eating. That completes this video. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so 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 much. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.